Hello. Welcome to Card Minds. Thank you for stopping by. This is going to be a Leo weekly money and career reading from June 5th to the 11th, 2023. Leos, welcome, welcome. Let's see what messages we have for this upcoming week, June 5th to the 11th, 2023, for the signs of Leo. Knight of Cups, moving forward, moving forward on a job, moving forward on a project. Knight of Pentacles, wow. Okay, so this can be a creative project, a creative job, doesn't have to be, but it's very emotional for you. This is something that you have put a lot of thought in, a lot of... Um, a lot of ideas going on, a lot of conversations going on. Maybe you have um, had this project in the works for a while, or maybe you've been trying to get this job for a while. And this slowly but surely, you made it happen, or slowly but surely, you're preparing, you're making it happen. Maybe it's a business you're starting. Maybe you're putting your talent out there, right? Maybe you're an artist. Doesn't have to be that, but you are committed to the task. No matter what it is, you're committed to the job, you're committed to the idea, to the task, to make it happen, and you're really preparing this in a very meticulous way. You're working on this in a very a logic way. Uh, you might have invested money in this or planned out financially how to make it happen or, you know, like opening a business or starting that new job. And you meticulously um, strategized and really thought it out. And step by step, um, taking your time to make it happen, Take your, taking your time to do it right and to find the best solutions to make it happen. And it is happening, beautiful. Four of Wands, celebrating, celebrating with friends, celebrating with family, celebrating, accomplishing something, making this happen. You might have even uh, gotten a diploma, right? Graduated, it is a graduation time here, but, um, yes, maybe you're graduating if you were in school. Um, it's, it's you finding that uh, wonderful moment of accomplishment, wonderful moment of making it happen after really working hard and thinking it out, right? Not rushing anything this time. You, I mean, this time, I don't know why I'm saying this time, but it is... Um, it's a project, a job, a business, whatever it is, or a diploma, or that has demanded effort, and you you did it right. Bravo to you, Leo. Um, it was stressful, or it is stressful, right? Nothing comes easy. Nothing is easy, especially when we have to push and put a lot of effort and determination, and also those ideas that you had to construct that you had to go get or you know the discussions with people it was a lot it felt like a lot of pressure on your shoulders to make it happen and my oh my you channeled your I don't know why I'm I'm talking in the past but uh you've channeled these um these energies uh with this king of cups feels like it could be a creative project but doesn't have to be with this king of cups you've you were able or you are able to balance your emotions all while working in a stressful environment or the pressure cooker of, you know, starting something or getting something done, right? Whether it be a diploma, starting your business or starting this new job or project. But bravo to you for channeling those emotions that sometimes get triggered when we're under pressure, under stress. Maybe there's a lot of competition. And here's the death card. Beautiful. So that, you know, it, it's, for me, the death card is complete transformation. You made it happen, right? It's the death of a phase. You're moving into another cycle, right? You've worked really hard and you, you know now what you're moving into because you've worked to make it happen. 
So maybe it was a little, maybe not confusing, but you weren't sure. You weren't sure that this was going to happen. You weren't sure, you know, that this was all going to come together, but you made it happen. And now you're opening up transforming, starting, opening up to something much more interesting to you, much more valuable to you, and sort of letting go of that past or letting go of, of that certain cycle where you had to prepare, you had to study maybe, you had to budget. Um, and this is now, you are now opening a door to something completely different. And even if it was hard, I think you really understand the importance and the promise of this renewal, of this transformation, and sort of letting go of maybe unhealthy attachments or letting go of that uh, stress emotion that you thought that made you think, sorry, that maybe it wasn't going to happen. Those doubts. Yes. Yes. Nicely done. Now you're clear. Clear with the lovers. Clear in your choices. Clear in your ideas. There's no filter. You are who you are, Leo. And this opportunity or this project job business diploma, you know, take it the way it it works for you is something that um, that you feel comfortable in. This is your comfort zone. So may, it can be a dream job or it can be working with that company you really wanted to. It seems like a really beautiful accomplishments, accomplishment uh, pulling this together. Comment down below. Let me know what this is. You're finally reaching that holy grail. You're finally reaching that moment where you're entering that workforce after working so hard in school or finally opening your business or finally taking on responsibility within that company or bossing up or something like that. You've worked very hard. Yes, worked very hard at managing your finances, but also keeping to yourself, not not all over the place, right? Focusing on the right things, focusing on and, and focused and determined to do it right. But it seems like now you're sort of revealing to the world what you've been working on. You're celebrating now. It's sort of out in the open as opposed to before you really kept it to yourself and either study, study, studied or worked on it, managed it budgeted, strategized, whatever it is that you're doing. And now you're leaving that, you're leaving those, that anxiety behind. It's a, it's a complete change, Leo, but a complete change that you made happen with the lovers. You realize now who you really are, what you're settling into, right? It's a new life, a new phase uh, a, a new career even, right? You Maybe you transformed your career. So it doesn't really matter how old you are, right? Whether you're just fin finishing school or you're retired or anything in between, it's really about you realizing uh, where you stand on your path, being authentic, genuine, you know, in your own personality and very clear now on your values, on your belief system. You, you can articulate what you believe in and what you stand for. And because you're in touch with your inner self, in touch with your ideas, with your creativity, with your, your you really know who you are. That Now that's why you were able to organize yourself to make it happen and it's giving you much more um um openness to others right um opening your emotions opening your ideas your creativity to others less barriers right i think you've had barriers for a while and now you know what you want or now you know what your philosophy is and this is sort of essential for you it feels so job well done leo 
All right, let's see if there's one last card. And it, see how you're moving out of a really uh, emotional situations. You're letting go all that, um, er, all that has bottled up through the months, the years, whatever it is that, you know, however long it took you to make this happen and you have the judgment rising up, rising up to something so much more important for you, rising up to, um, it, it feels like you're destined to something else. This is your destiny. This is where you belong. This is where you, you know, and, you, and you're really letting go of an old self, right? You're not the same person. You're stepping into a newer version of yourself uh, and really dedicated, dedicated to this job, dedicated to making this happen for such a long time. And this is a crossroads. Um, any choice is significant, but I think you have already chosen. I think you have already chosen because this is something that you made happen. It's a significant change, really, in your life, in your career path, in your life path. And if you're not there yet, you're really almost there. And you've learned from past experiences, and that is why you're moving uh, that is why you prepared so much and took your time to make this happen. Maybe, maybe last time, maybe this is a second time around, or maybe you've been working on this for a very long time and one time it didn't pan out or something like that. It doesn't have to be, but um, it just feels like you've learned from past experiences with this judgment Judgment is rebirth, renewal. We have judgment and the death. So it's really putting a complete past behind and, and stepping into something that is massively important for you. And finally, pieces are coming together and you're able to refresh, refresh and ready to take on the new. Beautiful, beautiful reading, um, Leos. Let's see if there's a few more uh, messages in the second deck. Leo, weekly money and career, June 5th to the 11th, 2023. Don't forget to check out the June monthly general reading. If you're interested uh, and comment down below, let me know what this is all about, Leo. Let me know what you worked on so hard. Let me know Right. Uh, let me know where you stand on your path. I, I love to read all comments and thank you from the bottom of my heart to everyone for following this channel, uh, sharing your journeys, sharing your energies. That is how I push forward in my readings. So thank you to each and every one. Really. Um, Seven of Cups. Yes, there was confusion. That's why you really focus so hard in making this happen. Um, you had doubts. Um confusion and maybe disillusions along the way and some things panned out some others didn't maybe people you trusted uh or thought you trusted and just ideas that worked and others that didn't and this time you just focused on really managing your finances and and becoming not becoming but um it's with this King of Pentacles, uh, Leo, either you're working with a Taurus Virgo Capricorn or someone very installed in life, very comfortable financially, a leader, a decision maker, a boss, a family member, you know, a coworker, something like that. This person feels let me let me pull another card. Either you were disillusioned with this person or this person, yes, there we go. Or this person is offering you um, a, a partnership, a collaboration, or mentoring you. For me, the two of cups is just finding that person or that entity can be a company, can be a group of people, can be a person, just one person, a boss, a friend, a family member, whatever it is. You, this is a person that really is implementing the change, implementing your shift in career. Um, someone, it, it can be sort of a mentorship or just a partnership or someone guiding you, helping you with this new job, new career, new path that you're on. Um, someone you really trust. 
And I think this person took you out of confusion or, and it doesn't have to be a person. It can be, it can be a company, you know, an idea, someone that you really uh, connect with on a business level that um, pushed you forward or helped you push forward in an idea, in a business, in a job, whatever it is. And here we have the two of wands, success, planning the future, planning your success, uh, planning to travel even maybe, but opening up to the world, opening up your career. And um, uh, it's really about you discovering new sources, new people, new ways of working, new ways of making money because of this king of, uh, king of pentacles. And if this is not someone um, that has helped you along the way, this is you really making your mark and, and finding financial abundance within this change. Beautiful. And you have the two of, you know, the two of wands is really that progress in your career, that new job opening, that taking on more responsibility, that new career move. Beautiful, beautiful reading, uh, Leo. And, and this is all about your, your work and perseverance. Yes, nine of, nine of wands, persevering, courageous, proving yourself over and over that you're the person, you're the job. And here we have the Hierophant, allowing more skills to come in, uh, understanding, understanding what it takes, understanding how to make it happen, all while maybe opening up the doors to other knowledge, to other skills with other people, you know, connecting with other people to make it all happen. And, and you are making this official. This is official. You, you, you might be signing contracts, signing your contract for your job, or signing your contract for, um, for this new career move. Wow. Leo's beautiful. Absolutely wonderful. Let me know what this is all about because you made it happen. You made it happen with your hard work. Let's see if there's one last message for the road. Leo's weekly money and career, June 5th to the 11th, 2023. What do we have? Three of wands. Yep, there we go. So we have two of wands and three of wands. Now it's that opportunity. You know, this this thing that you're entering, that you're starting, this transformation of this job, business, whatever it is, um, is really a beautiful new opportunity outside. feels like it's outside of the job you had before or outside of your current job, really amping up, stepping up into a new career, more responsibilities, more money, obviously. Um, wow. Wow, Leo, beautiful, beautiful reading. I hope you enjoyed this reading as much as I did. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you again to each and every one for subscribing, for sharing, for sharing your journeys, your energies. Uh, have a great week, Leo. Leo, sorry. Have a great week. Take care.